It is December of 2016, getting pretty close to Christmas, and this rather large and heavy box right here gives me a few good reasons to make a video. First off, it's a really convenient way for me to send out a, a quick holiday message and say Merry Christmas to everybody that celebrates Christmas, or God Yule for people who are of Swedish origin, or whatever else you might celebrate, whether it be Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Winter Solstice, or even Festivus. So whether you celebrate any of those, something else, or nothing at all, I hope you're having a good winter so far. And a while back I decided that I was going to stop doing unboxing videos because I've done quite a few of them and it kind of ends up being, you know, sort of a tease and a lot of stuff I don't get around to for a long time. And I kind of feel bad giving like a little preview of something really cool and then not actually reviewing it for months and months. But in general I have been trying to get away from the unboxing videos. But this one really did have to be opened up on camera. And I don't know if you can tell on the screen how big it is, but I'll put my hands out here and you can you can see this is a, it's a pretty big box. And it's also very heavy. It does say on it it's uh, 7.6 kilograms, which is pretty close to 17 pounds. I believe that uh, this is the heaviest box I've ever gotten from subscribers or viewers. And this was sent by The Magnus in Sweden. And Magnus has his own YouTube channel, which is called The Magnus. And he has uh, done reviews of a number of different rations. And he's also sent me two packages before, so this is the third time I've gotten something from Magnus. He sent me a Swedish 24-hour ration, which I reviewed last year. And he also sent me a surprise holiday package last December, which included a beer and a, a cool folding coffee cup from Sweden. So it seems like this is sort of becoming a new holiday tradition. And this one is kind of a surprise, too. Uh, Magnus contacted me on Facebook to let me know that something was coming. Uh, this was sent on November 25th. And it didn't arrive until a couple days ago. It's taken just about two weeks to get here. And as a matter of fact, it actually arrived on Friday, but I wasn't home when it came and apparently it needed to be signed for. So I got a note that I had to go to the post office. And on Saturday, I went to the post office and picked it up and I had to, I walked there, so I had to lug this thing home, this uh, 17 pound box, which is a little bit awkward. But um, anyway, it got here. And one of the things Magnus said about it was uh, another mystery element is that he said that it should be refrigerated. Of course, it's been in the shipping system for two weeks, so who knows uh, you know, how well that went. I had to put it outside because I didn't have room to put it in my refrigerator. And he mentioned one of the things in here, uh, he referred to it as a black hockey puck and said that that was optional. So <laughs> I'm not sure what that means, um, what's inside of that is optional apparently, but uh, definitely curious to see what's in here and to see if everything survived. So I guess that's really all there is to say about this. Um, this is, is the... Uh, Swedish post. That's kind of neat. And we have tape on here, and it does have a, a tear strip, so it looks like I might not need a knife for this, and I might as well just tear this open. And let's go ahead and see what's in this, this package from the Magnus. And did that do the trick? Uh, no, it didn't. I'm going to have to cut the tape. Not too bad. And then we can actually put it down on the table for the unveiling. Oh, and the, the one, <laughs> I just gave a preview, but the other, the one final mystery is that uh, Magnus said that he ran out of printer ink, so he was not able to put in a, uh, a note or a guide to what this stuff is. But look at this. This looks quite nice. And Magnus also did mention that this was kind of for the uh, for the whole family. So let's see. I can I recognize a couple of things in here. Actually, there's something interesting enough. This is something that I actually buy at the uh, grocery store for my wife. This must be the hockey puck in this uh, package here too. So let's start here. And this has a little dent tonight. Oh wow! <laughs> this Magnus, you definitely outdid yourself with this one. Uh, out to supper. I wonder what this is. Um, yeah, this is very, uh, this is very Swedish. It has all this stuff about, uh, the Art Sapa, but it's all in Swedish. And the only thing that's in English that says tips, which maybe that's also Swedish, but, um, I can't really tell what the tips are. Yeah, okay, this is all, all Swedish. I'll have to try to figure out, figure that out. We do have, uh, Norse stuff here, though, because we're familiar. Alright, it's quite cold from being outside. Uh, uh oh. Got and blandat uh, salt. I believe this is going to be uh, salted licorice. UK confectionery. Oh, it's just the ingredients. And the uh, nutrition value here. 
uh, best before. I don't see uh, anything English on this one either, but I'm pretty confident that's what it is. It's uh, salted licorice, which I think I've had that. I think I actually had that in the, in the Swedish ration before. I like licorice. I tend to like black licorice least of the licorice, and then making them salted licorice makes them even uh, a bit stronger. But uh, definitely going to try those out. We have something quite Christmassy. This is cool. I like this. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced, but basically it's like Yule scum. Jewel scum. Yule scum. Uh, it loses something in translation, I guess, but uh, these look like sort of a, uh, a marshmallow candy. These look good. I think the, uh, the girls are going to like these. Scum goddess. Very interesting. Yeah, you know, um, I was actually offered to do, do a live commentary on this. I probably should have taken them up on that because I'm a little bit lost here. Yeah, this is interesting. This is more candies. This is cert scum. And these, uh, oh, these are also kind of softer. I would say they're kind of like a, uh, a marshmallow candy made by Sweden. It doesn't have much in English. It's from candy people. And uh, one thing it says, uh, sour foam. That sounds quite interesting as the ingredients for that. And well within the uh, best before date. And we already saw what I believe is going to be salted licorice. But we also have salt scum. Those are from Smart. And this, I believe, is... Oh, this is... Oh, that's interesting. This is salty foam. Okay, it's the same things as these. Just, uh... These are sour, and these are salty. Okay, so I guess it's not black licorice, but uh, it is a, a salt one. Interesting. Ooh, this looks good. I believe that's milk chocolate. Nice. It's uh, cracked and transit, but not worried about that. Uh, this looks uh, quite good. 200 grams of milk chocolate. Let's see some more good stuff coming up. Oh man, this is uh, this is awesome. Hey, this is cool. This is some Wasa Husman. Um, hold on one second. I just had to run to the cupboard because my wife just happens to, she's not Swedish, but she just happens to eat wasa crisp bread. That's uh, one of her things that she eats. And this is wasa, but it's actually from Sweden. So that's, that's quite awesome. <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, I don't exactly know what the husman is, but, uh, this is going to be a big hit in our house, I think. I'm not exactly sure how it relates to that, but, uh, another, another Swedish treat. And I can't believe Magnus sent me this uh, Kalis, which I'm not sure if it's the uh, right pronunciation. But uh, hold on one second again, because it just so happens uh, that I have a tube of Kalis in the refrigerator. This is creamed smoke roe. And um, I get this at Ikea, which of course is a Swedish mega store. So now I have a tube of Kalis from Ikea and a tube of Kalis from Sweden. Very cool. Magnus and I actually had a little discussion on uh, Facebook messaging uh, about uh, Kallis and some other tubed foods around the time when I did the uh, astronaut food. So that'll go good on the wasa. Yeah, this must be the hockey puck. It's something that's very well sealed up in black duct tape, apparently. I'm going to save that one for last. This must be a... Uh, Summer sausage kind of a thing, or a, some kind of a meat. On sala corv. Yeah, it looks like a sausage. Cool. That's nice. It's just funny that uh, it's like so Swedish. There's like nothing really in English to tip it off. It's kind of soft too. It has this really thick casing on it, which I don't know if you're supposed to eat that or not. And oh, Magnus said there was something for the channel, and it's a uh, another. Swedish combat ration. Let me see if this is, um, I know 24 hour meals is the, the name of the company that makes it. Yeah, this is a 24 hour because it has breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So another 24 hour Swedish uh, ration. Great. Thank you, Magnus. So we actually have something for the channel along with all the stuff for the, for the family. Awesome. There's some more, let's see, what is this one? It's also got in Blandet. This is original. So we have the salt and we have the original. Gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be licorice. And Swedish fish too. Cool. All right, and getting down to some of the interesting stuff here. 
Oh, okay, I guess we'll have to go with the the Yule Mist. Um, I'm just wondering what was supposed to be refrigerated. I know the Kala should be refrigerated. The Yule Mist, I believe you drink it cold, but it doesn't have to be refrigerated. Uh, and this is a uh, traditional Swedish uh, Christmas drink. I believe it's generally for Christmas. I've had it once before. We went to a uh, Christmas festival in Boston. I can't exactly remember. I remember it was, it was weird. It wasn't you know, what I expected. Seeing a bottle like this, it kind of looks like a, a cola, but it's uh, very, uh, very Swedish. I think I may have to uh, drink this with the 24-hour uh, ration or something. And we have another one. Looks like, what is this, two different, uh, two different brands? Looks like it. They're both ill missed. To uh, try the two of them, see if there are any uh, any different any difference between them. And it looks like we have a couple of cans of Swedish beer. Yeah, Stockholm in Maristads. Maris Maristad. I don't know. But uh, interesting enough, this is the third and fourth can of Swedish beer that uh, the Magnus has sent me, and they've all been different. So uh, I'm really getting the full uh, the full tour of Swedish beers. It's awesome. And these things always come a little bit dented. They've all managed to make it to me safe and sound, but they, uh, they do have a few bumps and bruises from their trip. Now this one's a fine festival beer. That sounds good for the holidays. It's both look good, too. I'm not really into, like, uh, really dark beers or, uh, you know, stuff like Guinness and all that. Um, but so far the ones he sent me have been more like a, a Pilsner kind of a thing. Lager, Pilsner sort of a thing. And what is this? We have a couple uh, pieces of um, licorice, or actually this might be the, looks like they've escaped from the packages. This kind of looks like it might be the, is this open? It doesn't seem to be open. No, no, it's not that. I don't know. I don't know if these came out of the packages or if they just fell in there, but uh, hmm, go ahead and try it. It looks like a, looks like a soda bottle. Yeah, I think it's like a, sort of like a soda flavored licorice. I wonder if that's um, I wonder if that's Yulmus flavor. I was gonna say cola, but it, it has an aftertaste. It's a bit stronger. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, this here. Like I said, I don't know if these are just extras that were thrown in. Oh, here it is. This. <laughs> uh, apparently, this bag went. Look at what we have here. I guess you get a preview of it. So this bag ripped, and there's some some salt in the box. But apparently this is a, a whole big bag full of all kinds of... Oh, I've seen these before. Kex chocolate. It's like a, a wafer with chocolate. And, uh... Oh, yeah, look at this. Why don't we just, um... Look at that. A little bit of Sweden. But, uh... Oh, yeah, we get a bunch of stuff in here. Something cream. Uh, more of these candies. More of these things. More of these little soda bottles. Yeah, it's gonna be fun going through all this stuff. I think I've gotten this before too. These I've seen at the uh, that Swedish fest that we went to. The traditional Swedish candies. Bounty. I actually saw that at a, uh, a Russian uh, grocery store. Geisha. Nice. I like these little two-tone two-tone candies like the uh with a little soda bottle i was wondering if it was like cream soda because it's got the white on the bottom but i don't know what that what that's for but yeah look at that what kinds of stuff in there thank you magnus i think the uh kids are gonna love this too so that was in this uh this bag here i don't know if that's a uh, swedish uh, candy store or something and that just leaves us with this package and the hockey puck. And I'm just gonna see the hockey puck for last. This one is heavy. This is uh actually has quite a bit of the weight from this whole thing in here. I'll condense it. Oh, it's a couple of jars of something. Oh boy, what do we have here? In lagged seal. I'm gonna guess this is some kind of fish. Oh yeah, this is definitely some kind of fish. I hope this isn't like a surf strumming kind of a thing. It would be kind of scary. Uh Hmm. But uh, I don't think Magnus would send me uh, Sistrami. We also talked about that, too. Oh, it's got carrots in here. Oh, this is like lettuce kind of thing. I thought it was rice at first, but it's like some kind of shredded it's like some kind of shredded vegetable. I'm not sure. It doesn't seem to be lutefisk, and it doesn't seem to be Sistrami. Something I don't believe I've ever seen before. So there's one 
jar of that. Looks like another one, or is this something different? Oh, this is something different. Oh, synapse. So, see the ABBA. Cool. Uh, and this is in uh, some kind of a uh, yellow sauce. I don't know if it's like a uh, mustard sauce or something. But uh, I'll try and find out. I'll try and figure that out. Yeah, one more thing in here. Oh, caviar. Look at that. I'm assuming that means caviar. Things popping, but uh, seems to be sealed. I hope it is. Yeah, that is caviar. Wow. It's not something I've ever really had much of. I think I may have tried some caviar once, but uh, this would be different. It would be uh, pretty cool. I think the collars I consider, because it's creamed smoke roe, like eggs, I kind of consider it to be uh, something like caviar, but this is actually caviar. We're going to be living it up. All right, and now uh, leaves us with the hockey puck. Magnus called it. What would this be? Alright, I'll take some drastic measures with this tape. About the best wrap thing I've ever. Alright, what do we have here? Oh no, no, okay, it's not. <laughs> I had a, a little scare there for a second of what it might be. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, Magnus, Magnus, Magnus. Ay, ay, ay. I wonder if I'm gonna actually be able to do this or not. This is the infamous the feared Sir Stroming. It's very traditional looking packaging here. Wow, I don't know what to do with this. If you're familiar with uh, Sir Stroming from videos or if you've tried it, uh, it's a... Whoa. It's a pretty scary thing. It's a kind of a scary sound. Uh, let's see. That's well, best before February 2018, so I guess I have some time to figure out if I'm going to be able to eat this or not, or at least try it. All right, so here we have a whole bunch of great and some scary stuff all the way from Sweden, from the Magnus. Oh, I didn't even see what was interesting. Uh, including this 24-hour Swedish meal, which will definitely get reviewed. What does it have? It has uh, fruit porridge with rye flakes, pasta carbonara, and oriental chicken with couscous. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that, and uh, I'll have to see what I can do with all this stuff. and try and put a dent into it. May do some filming of some other stuff. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what the family thinks of this, too. So, happy holidays to everybody. Whatever you celebrate, happy holidays, happy winter. And um, thank you very much, Magnus. This was uh, quite the adventure. Thanks a lot.